We're here with uh, Hunter Carson, who for the last few years has started up a very special award here at DIFF that honors um, not only your father, but I think the way your father approached filmmaking. Um, tell us a bit about what DIFF's Maverick Award is. Uh, DIFF's Maverick Award, it's actually the L.M. Kit Carson Maverick Filmmaker Award. It's going to Monty Hellman this year. Uh, what I want to what I want to sort of start out with is a conversation I had with uh, Michael Caine, and I was asking him if he would introduce me uh, last year when I received the Texas Star Award for my dad, L. M. Kit Carson, and Michael said, "Yes, of course. What should we talk about?" And in this conversation of talking about the community of artists that you know my dad was just a huge fan of. I mean, he would pull people out of nowhere, and next thing you know, they're, they're in a production office making a movie. Michael said something. He said, you know, you could probably figure out a way to make this happen over and over and over again. And I said, okay, what do you think? He said, look, just when you talk to Faust and Lee, when you talk to James and Lee, Michael said, ask them about some sort of recurring honor for your dad. I said, okay, I'll do that. So I'm sitting talking to James and Lee. And James and Lee are just like, we love this idea. This is great. How do we do it? I said, look, let's, let's see if we can make a section of films. Let's call them Maverick. Let's find movies that they don't have a template. They don't follow the rules they buck the system, uh, and they're independent, free-minded sort of features. So we did it. And this year we have the Maverick film section. Hotel Dallas and Collective Unconscious have played. They have literally had more than half the house full at all three of the screenings I've been to. And that just, I just feel like that that has more to do with the community of artists that I started talking about last year than it has anything to do with, with me or what I've done. I, I feel like Maverick Film, because it's been so well received, I feel like Maverick Film truly has a calling and has a place here at DIFF. And uh, I am do my damnedest to keep it going every year. You know, looking at those two films in particular, Hotel Dallas, one thing that those guys talked about from the very beginning was their influence very much was Paris, Texas. Mm -hmm. And that whole comeback connection, that must have been bittersweet to have Hotel Dallas as the first run of films that's a part of this. What does that mean to you to have even more another layer onto this group of filmmakers you're just getting to meet and know? Well, what it means to me is that there is a strong love for filmmaking in a style that is hearkening back to the 60s and the 70s. You know, when we talked about bringing Monty Hellman in, it became so evident that he is a maverick. He's a one of that group of people. And to bring him in sort of shows, here's the guy. You know what I mean? Here's the guy. And when I finally talked to Livia and Shung Li about Hotel Dallas, they said to me, and I didn't know this before, they said to me that they had a one-page outline and they took some cameras, flew to Romania, and shot the movie as a living organism as it go went on. And they said that's because of Paris, Texas. And when we were shooting Paris, Texas, I remember that there was no, there was a script that had been written, but it wasn't being used. I mean, Vim and my dad were sitting in a typewriter for most of the morning, typing the scenes for the day. And then we'd go and rehearse. You know, Harry Dean and I and, and Vim, we'd go and rehearse. And then, then they'd sort of be like, okay, that's good. And then some, you know, somebody's sitting there scribbling notes, and then they'd go back and they'd type out the scene again. And then we'd shoot that scene that we just invented. So, I mean, Hotel Dallas, just that kind of template, that's all about Maverick. That's all about using yourself to create something on the spot. 
It's about being a paintbrush. Mm. It's not about having a system of checks, little boxes, or a template of line items that you cross off as you go through your day. That's about being in the moment and creating film and creating art. Mm. And all artists do that. And that's one of the beautiful things about this section, the Maverick section, is that it truly is an artist's section. It's not just for people that want to see a movie, it's for people that want to see art. And looking at Collective Unconscious, young art, people who are coming up and are gonna be the future mavericks, if you will. It's, I, I love that we have this, for this first year of it, we have this veteran presence in Monty, but you know, Collective Unconscious are a bunch of filmmakers that we're gonna be seeing in the near future mm -hmm. who already made impact. I mean, like Lauren, mm -hmm. I mean, there's some power there and we're just waiting to see what comes from them and yet they get to share the stage with Monty, who's, I mean, he's been a Maverick for a long time, been doing this, and it, 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 it goes with how Kit lived his life. He had the balls to go do something other people wouldn't do every once in a while, and yeah. I mean, he wouldn't mind just going across the world and filming on an iPhone. Like, that's the legacy of your dad, and it's being imprinted here at Diff. What can we expect from this recurring element? What are you looking for? To bring. What I'm looking to bring to the Maverick section are artists with unique voices. Artists that have an idea of what they want to do. Uh, when you talk about collective unconscious, that grouping of people, that grouping of filmmakers, we're getting, wow, we're getting, yeah. we're getting, some, we're getting some stuff, that's good stuff. <laughs> Collective unconscious, you know, we're talking about that. That grouping of filmmakers are really people that believe in the process. Um, it's like performance art. You know, I look at collective unconscious and I feel like it's like performance art. You're just doing it. You're not thinking about it. You're not scheduling it out. You're not planning it. You know, and I think that, you know, you start the movie and it, it says, you know, you're, we're going to put you in a trance. Well, that's perfect because that's what we want. That's what we want to bring to the table. We want to bring this almost spiritual sort of setting in a dark room with a group of people watching art happen. You know, kind of to, to kind of look at and wrapping it up with thinking of, of your dad's impact here in Dallas, but in the film festival world and how that voice has just continued to go. He was long before Diff, helping impacting this city with film festivals, but from when it started up, he was right here. He was a part of it. That, it's got to be special to now you're going to be a part of it and you're bringing the next Mavericks. Yeah, you know, I feel like it's a way of giving back and it's a way of honoring a memory that will never go away, especially not here, but it won't go away anywhere in the world. You know, David Holzman's diary is in the Library of Congress. It's not going anywhere. You know what I mean? And that sort of energy, since energy can neither be created nor destroyed, it just exists, that kind of energy can flow through the artists that are in the Maverick film section. And as we continue to do it, they will give their energy back. Mm -hmm. So it's this, it's this thing, the artist will be there, they will pass through this Maverick film section. And I know that because of it, they will come, they will talk, they will say, hey, I've got this great film for next year. I'm not involved in it, it's my buddy. Or it's the guy that I knew growing up and he made a movie and he's, you know, a, a kid when I was growing up. Or, you know, I met somebody randomly and I just talked to them about being in it next year. Uh, we, it's just an energy thing, man. Um, I ran into somebody randomly last night who was telling me that their movie will be done in the summer. And I thought, man, I wish I could help this person. And then I woke up this morning, I was like, wait, I can help this person. <laughs> so I'm uh, reaching out to, to everywhere, reaching out to everyone to bring film to Dallas, to bring film to Diff. 
and to be creative, you know. It's great to have a template of what you're going to do. It's just you have to follow down, you have to follow every road that is creative. You have to take every path and every twist and turn uh, that is artistic. And some of them lead nowhere, and you'll find that out. And some of them become wonderful films like Orion, Hotel Dallas, and Collective Unconscious. Well, Hunter, we appreciate the time. We appreciate what we're getting to see now and honoring your dad. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see where this goes. This is always, such a great experience. Always good to see you, my friend. Always good to see you, my friend. Thank you, Diff.